Hey everybody, welcome to the Kirk Rudy FireJet inkjet printing system. It's a CMYK full color printer and it specializes on printing on number 10 envelopes, A7s, A5s, and any other poor stocks. Uh, Kirk Rudy has designed and built a really durable, high speed, uh, low cost four color printer. And here you can see uh, the durability of the system. We actually designed and machine all these uh, parts in-house and these things really hold up well. Um, again, the system consists of a feeder, an in-feed registration table, an inkjet section or base, and then of course the shingle conveyor. Hey, the first part of the system is this high quality, high speed feeder. Okay, this is a friction feeder by Kirk Rudy. It's called the 497BW. It's also, it has a servo feed functionality here, or features, and uh, we also have the mechanical cranks for easy alignment and setup for operators. Um, the feeder can accept up to 18 by 18 inch uh, long and wide sheets and um, is able to stop and start uh, immediately based on inputs. The second part of the Kirk Rudy FireJet system is a really critical portion of it, and this is the in-feed registration table. Okay, what's critical about this is it takes any envelopes coming out of our feeder and it registers it precisely against this registration uh, block. And it also, the critical part is the transfer of the envelope onto the vacuum feed belt. Uh, without this in-feed registration and these mechanisms for pr precise uh, transfer, um, registration repeatability would be very difficult to achieve. Okay, and then we have the inkjet base uh, portion of the Kirk Rudy FireJet, and it has a continuous feed 18 inch wide belt. Uh, it's got precision ground rollers and a high resolution encoder for uh, excellent repeatability and print quality. Okay, and of course, uh, one of the most important features of the FireJet is the print engine, and this is um, developed by Memjet. It's the Doraflex print, print engine. It's a high-resolution 1600 water-based CMYK printer, and it features things like automatic capping and wiping um, for zero maintenance for the operator. Here we're doing an actual manual light wipe of the print head, but the system does have automatic mid-job servicing, which uncaps and wipes the head every so many pieces and that's programmable. You see the cap uh, moved out of the way and the printer is now Okay, in order for uh, one of the abilities of the Kirk Rudy FireJet, of course, is the ability to do full bleed on any product. And uh, the way that's achieved is we've designed something called we call a spittoon, okay, which is a place right underneath the printhead where it collects any kind of excess ink around the edges. Okay, and that um, basically prevents any kind of ink from getting on the inkjet belt and causing any uh, spots and contamination on the back of the envelope. Of course, another piece of important information that we left out, a part of the system, is the RIP software. It's based on the Zytron Navigator RIP, and this is called the Digital Front End, or DFE. And this is actually how we load and manage our jobs. Um, simply, as far as loading a job, you can just hit a plus sign here and select the PDF that you want to print, or you can actually go into the Workflow Manager here and manually drag PDFs or send them into this hot folder from a, a a remote location. Okay, now we're gonna actually run a job, and essentially we're gonna load the job and then hit the print button, start the base. The machine is gonna rip the job and then send the file over to the printer. It uncaps, the head goes down.
Okay, in the Zytra Navigator RIP, this is how color management is achieved. Uh, anytime we bring up a job, if there's any spot colors embedded in the actual file, you'll see this Pantone icon. We don't click on that, and it'll show us what spots are actually embedded into that file. And we can individually click on a uh, a particular green, or in this case a PMS 265C, and manipulate these colors if required. Um, we can manually do this in print and do a process of um, trial by error, or we can actually click on this printer here and print out this swatch sheet and find the closest swatch that um, is, meets that spot color. And for quick tweaks of color, we have global settings here, which we just basically, you can actually change all four channels, plus or minus, or individual channels, just as a quick tweak to a particular job. Okay, in the back here, we have the Kirk Rudy ink delivery system, and the consumables here are, are the CMYK bulk ink tanks, and they're two liter containers for each one. You have a quick release CPC connector, so you can easily change bulk inks on the fly, even while printing. The software will tell the operator, or alert the operator, when it's time to actually change out an ink tank. There's also um, an RJ12 connection here, which is actually to a smart chip, so that's how we manage the inks we can tell how many drops of ink are left in each bulk ink. System as far as reservoirs, so the inks are actually pumped up into these individual reservoirs and then they are uh, basically pumped through a filter and then to the printhead and back around again. So it has an ink recirculation system and that's important because it keeps the ink from settling. It uses a pigmented ink and recirculation not only keeps the ink uh, from settling, it also removes any kind of air bubbles. So you get good consistency and, and high jetting sustainability.